And that sentiment also shared here in Louisville as the community gathered for an evening of peace at the Temple Shalom in Jefferson Town. 11 at 11, Heather Fountaine was there for that showing of support. Heather. Robert, it really was an incredible showing tonight at Temple Shalom. More than 500 people crowded the room, many having to stand. It was a perfect example of love for a community that has felt surrounded by recent hate. A prayer for peace. This massive crowd at Temple Shalom made up of different backgrounds, but in search of the same goal, unity. We are here because we are not willing to accept the hatred and violence and prejudice that is surrounding us. The call for togetherness comes one day after 11 people were killed in a Pittsburgh synagogue. One Louisville woman at the memorial service has a son living there now. Even though I knew he wasn't at that synagogue this morning, it was still a terrifying thing to think that he was in the same city with a hate crime against Jews. And still on everyone's mind, what many have called an act of hate in our very own community. Maurice Stallard and Vicki Lee Jones shot to death while grocery shopping at the Stony Brook Kroger Wednesday afternoon. He was obviously gunning for people like who look like me. Andrew Thweda says he was at that Kroger minutes before the suspect started shooting. He says he came to Temple Shalom to show his support for all races and religions. We've got to stand and say no, this cannot happen. We need to care about this violence and assault and to take this personally, to show the kind of heartfelt compassion which makes our city great. The crowd standing shoulder to shoulder in harmony. An example this community hopes others will embrace. May this be a blessing. And Congressman John Yarmouth was also there tonight. He had a simple message for the crowd saying, let's create a more moral, tolerant, inclusive, and soulful America. I'm Heather Fountaine, 11 at 11.